Hello. Let's take a look at mission two, lesson 13, where we are solving equation equivalent ratio problems. Let me share my screen so you guys can see. And I'll bring me over here so you can see me talk. So I may look like I'm looking to the side. I'll try to look you guys as much as possible here. Your camera's here, but I'm looking over here. So that's where the problem is, okay? It's a bigger screen over here, but there's no camera. All right. So, all right. Tamiya buys four sweatshirts for $12. What's the cost of one? Oh, so she gets four for $12. It's right there. But we want to know what's one. Bring it down to one. So, how do I get from four to one? I divide by four. So you have to divide the other one by four to keep that relationship the same. Whatever I do this guy, I gotta do this guy. It's gotta be the same when I move down or up that number line. So 12 divided by four is three. Got it? Okay, three. Now use your double number line to complete this sentence. One sweatshirt cost. Okay, I got it, $3. Because that's how I use the double number line to get down there. What is next? So the double number line shows the speed the Detroit airplane is moving. Fill in the online unknown value. Okay, so I'm gonna look for my pattern. When I'm counting on the top, I'm counting by three, six, not I'm counting by three. Okay, well down here, I don't know what I'm counting by because there's nothing here. Counted two times to get here. Wait a minute, what if this is one, two, three? So what if this is counting by fours? Four, eight, 12, 16, is that four each time? I'm adding four each time? So I'm counting by four. This would probably be an eight. Or what else I can look at is I can see that three times two got me to here. Three times three got me to here. So whatever I do here, I have to do the same thing down below. So if it's three times two to get me this one, it's four times two to get me this one. Okay. If it's four times three to get me 12, then it better be three times three to get me the number on top. So that you have to keep that same relationship as you move up or move down that number line. Yes, there we go. Next, we're going to set up the table to represent the information. The information, Esther is reading a 100-page book. She reads the first 20 pages in 30 minutes. Pages to minutes. She reads pages to minutes. She reads 20 pages. 20 goes with the pages. 30 goes with the minutes. If Esther continues to read at the same rate, how long will it take her to finish the book? Oh, so here we set up the table. And the next part is we're going to find out going from 20 pages all the way to 100 to find how long that's going to take. So we need to set up the, the table first. I love tables. I love racial tables. Okay. And then we look for that, that we're going to keep the relationship the same. So we're going to look for that pattern. How do I get from 20 to 100? Or think of it as two and 10. So we get from two to 10, multiplied by five, okay? So 20 times five is 100. So I gotta multiply the other side by five. So now three, 30 times five is whatever that is, all right? Or I think three times five is 15. And I'm gonna put my power of 10 back on. Remember, you can pause me right there. Go do it on your calculator and come back and see if you're ready, okay? 150 minutes to read the whole book. I always cheer because sometimes I get it wrong. <laughs> you guys know that if you watch any of my other videos, I get them wrong. All right, Jiro is reading a 400 page book. He reads the first 40 pages in four days. Okay, he continues to read at the same rate. How long will it take him to finish the book? 
Let's take a seat. 40 in four days. 40 in four days. The book is 400, though. Ooh, I see a pattern. I see a pattern is we, we moved up by a power of 10. So we multiplied by 10. So we have to do a power of 10 right here. I don't even have to, I don't have to even use a calculator for this. Power of 10 just means I put it in zero at the end of it. So it would take me 40 days. I didn't label this for you. Sorry, guys. Pages. Pages, days. So 40 pages in four days, 400 pages in 40 days. So it's going to take him, I can put my answer in now. 40 days to finish the book. Yeah. And I got one more to go. <gasps> no, I did it. I served it. That's it. Beautiful. I'm going to stop sharing. All right. I hope that helps you out a little bit. It's really just setting up the table and getting one more step towards the table. Um, I love using ratio tables because I think once you fill them in, you can find almost any answer they're asking for with them. So I like playing it like a secret code and you're deciphering it by filling out the table. And this is how I, that's more fun. All right, you need any more videos? Just holler and I'll make them for you, okay? All right, good luck with that one.